How to upgrade a building in Unity? First of all, we must have different levels of our buildings. For example, this is level 1, this is 2, and this is 3. Make all of them child of an empty game object and place them exactly on one point. Now we want to manage upgrade system by enabling and disabling each object. Create a new script called tower and give it to the game object that all buildings are its child. Remove update void cause we don't need it. Then define an integer called level and now a void called set level. When this void is called building level should be changed. In void in parentheses define an integer called LVL. We are going to change the building appearance by changing LVL. Cause our building has three levels define three objects called tower 1, tower 2 and tower 3. Now write in set level void if LVL was equal 1 first tower enables and another one disables. Now copy this if and paste it twice. In one of them write if LVL was 2 and in another one if LVL was 3. If it was 2, second tower enables and if it was 3, only third tower enables. Now if we want to change tower damage, here we can set damage. Call set level void in a start for test and in it write defined level integer. Now in unity, give first tower to tower 1, second tower to tower 2 and third tower to tower 3. Set level number to a number between 1 to 3, for example 3. Now by changing level to desired number, we have that number's desired tower. Let's prepare a page that by pressing upgrade button, the tower upgrades. So right click and from UI section, create an image. By pressing this option and holding alt button, make the image size like side of a screen size. Make the image a little bigger, make it black and decrease its opacity. Move camera a bit till we can see the building in a good position. Now right click on create an image and create a button and place it below the screen and change its image and text. The button is done. Now we have a title, the building's name, for example tower, and to text that displays building's level and power. You can add any desired thing you want. The upgrade page is almost ready. Now we want by clicking this button, the tower upgrades. In code, first of all remove written command in a start. Define a void called upgrade and write in it if level was less than 3, increase level by 1 and then call set level void. Then write an else for when level was bigger than 0, for now print maximum level. And at last in a start void, cause level starts from 1 equal level with 1. Now select upgrade button and give it our building and upgrade void. Let's test. Now by clicking upgrade button, level increases by 1 and tower appearance changes completely. And now if we reach level 3 and click upgrade button, it prints for us maximum level. Now what if we wanted instead of printing a page be displayed to us, how it works? It's so simple. Right click and create an image and make it the same size the whole screen. Make its image black and decrease opacity a bit. And in center right with a big font, maximum level. Now this page could be any page, for example like no money page. The point that is so important about this page is that after you've seen this page, you'll be able to close it by clicking on it. So select the image we used for background, then add button component to it. And click this plus, give it whole image, then select set active and let this option be disabled. Now if we see this page and click on it, the page deactivates automatically. At last, change its name to max level. Let's go to a script. Define a game object called page max level and enable this game object where we wrote print command. Now select the tower object and give maximum level to define a game object. Now if tower level becomes more than 3, maximum level enables and is automatically disabled by clicking it. Now we need to display level and power of the tower. So define to text mesh pro in a script. Now lower where we change tower shapes. With this command we display tower level. And with this command we display tower power. Here level is multiplied by 12. 
and by increasing level, power increases. You can use any Zaid firm you love for increasing the power of the tower. Now copy these two lines and paste in each if. Now in Unity, give level takes to takes level and power takes to takes power. Let's test by pressing upgrade button, level amount and power the building shape chains and building upgrades. Let's go for next part. How to enable upgrade page by clicking on building? First of all, we need a new canvas. So right click and create a canvas from UI section. Call it canvas click. Click on canvas, put render mode on board space and give camera to it. Now in scene, double click on canvas to see its full size. First of all, canvas angle must be exactly like camera angle. So right click on camera and from this section, right click on rotation and select copy quaternion. We just copied camera angle. Now select created canvas. From this section, right click on rotation and paste. The canvas and the camera have the same angle now. An important point. My camera angle in this game is fixed completely. But if your game is somehow that camera angle always changes, the building canvas angle must be changed like camera angle. Now create an image in canvas child. Cause for now we only have this building, make canvas and image smaller to be exact like the building. Now place canvas on building and in front of camera till we can see it from within camera. Now change image dimensions to make it the same as tower and place image exactly on tower. Reduce the image alpha and add a button component for it. Now click on this plus, give upgrade page to it and from game object section, check this box and enable the set active. Now by clicking the tower, upgrade page enables. Another thing left is when we click the tower, the camera displays the tower exactly to have a better user experience. For this, select camera, change its position to reach desired location. For example, this view is good. Copy the position. Now in tower script, define a public vector tree called camera pose. And in Unity, by right clicking camera pose, give desired coordinations of camera to this vector tree. Now we should make camera to place at this position by clicking this void. So define a game object called cam in a script and define a new void called set camera and in it set camera position to camera pose. Now we just need to select building or tower button. Again, click this plus, give tower to it and call set camera void. And don't forget to give camera to cam. Then play. Now after clicking on building, the camera displays it perfectly. And we can upgrade it. You can upgrade any desired building with this structure. If you wanted to save chains, you just need to save level number and load it at a start when game plays. For example, in a start void, write set level in parentheses 3. Number 3 is your save tower level, and we load it now. And if we press play, the tower level is still 3. I hope this tutorial was useful for you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.